In this video, we'll be sharing with you some of our favorite free and open source or FOSS Android apps. They're not only free to download and use, they're also free in the way that they respect your freedom and privacy. These apps are created by and for the people without malicious trackers or ads from corporations that sell your personal data for their own profit. A little bit of a backstory. We switched from iPhones to Android about a year ago. We use second-hand Pixel phones running a privacy and security-focused open-source operating system called Graphene OS. It has been a major milestone in de-googling our lives, as the OS does not have any Google Play services implemented, meaning Google apps don't work on our phones. It seems daunting to forgo the services Google, Facebook, and the likes provide, and we can tell you firsthand that it will be a pain in the butt to sacrifice all the conveniences we've come to rely on. Your data won't be seamlessly synced between all your devices anymore, and you will have to take many, many extra minutes when completing tasks. But if you're just becoming interested in reclaiming your own privacy, we hope this video can empower you in ditching those proprietary apps. And if you're many years into this journey, we hope you can learn about some new useful apps too. To be able to install all these wonderful apps that we will talk about, you need the software repository app F-Droid. Just like Google Play Store, you can find apps, install them, and keep them updated. The difference is, all apps in F-Droid are free and open source, meaning anyone can look at the code, contribute to it, redistribute it, etc. You also don't need an account to use it. It's transparent in letting you know which app has paid features, advertisements, and trackers, what permission the app needs, as well as what sort of open source license it has, so you can make informed decisions when installing. You can install F-Droid by downloading the APK package from their website and allowing installation from unknown sources in your Android settings. All the apps we will mention can be downloaded from F-Droid, apart from a couple that will need to be downloaded from their websites. They are free to download, open source, and ad-free. We've divided them into three categories, internet apps, multimedia apps, and useful tools. You can find links to all of them in the description and on our website. First, we will start with useful tools. Open Camera. Open Camera is a full feature replacement for Google Camera. You can use external mics with it, set motion stabilization, change photo and video quality, change the user interface, and more. It supports many Android devices. Most of our videos are shot with it. We really enjoy working with it. Equate. Equate is a unit converter and semi-scientific calculator. Convert real-time currencies, including cryptocurrencies, time, temperature, and many more. You can clean converting history with ease as well. It is simple yet very useful. Flores Board. Replace Google Keyboard with Flores Board. It respects your privacy with minimal permission needed. You can customize themes, do glide typing, have copy, paste, select all buttons, manage clipboard history, and many more. It is definitely the best keyboard we've tried on Android. SyncThing. SyncThing helps you sync files between multiple devices in a trustworthy and decentralized way. It is more of a tool than a service, as it can only help you sync the files, but it does not store them on their servers. The files you sync only go through your local network or another network of your choice. Therefore, you have 100% ownership of all your data. We are migrating away from using cloud services, and this has been great to use. If you're looking to sync your files to a third-party cloud, take a look at NextCloud. KeePass DX. KeePass DX is an offline password manager with support for two-factor authentication 2FA. It has the autofill feature and a special field-filling keyboard, so you don't have to copy your passwords onto your clipboard, which is shared amongst all your apps. We switched to using KeePass not long ago so we can keep our sensitive data offline. It is supported on most platforms so you will never lose access to your passwords. We back up the KeePass file onto a USB stick and sync it locally with multiple devices using SyncThing. If you want to sync your passwords to the cloud in replacement of proprietary apps such as LastPass, you can try out Bitwarden. 
Shelter. Shelter lets you isolate proprietary apps that track you into their own profile. We use another false app called Aurora Store to download proprietary apps that we need. It is a Google Play Store alternative as it does not require you to log in and it shows you any trackers an app may have. For example, Duolingo has 11 trackers. It is not an app we will want on our phone next to our personal information, so we install it into the Shelter profile. You can add a widget to your home screen, freeze the app, or auto-freeze it when the screen is locked, or just turn off your shelter profile altogether. This way, Big Brother apps won't have any access to your information, and they also won't be running in the background behind your back. Notepad Notepad is an offline, bare-bones, no-frills, note-taking app, with no permission needed. It has a dark theme, it auto-saves drafts, has markdown support, and you can easily import export notes. For cloud-synced notes, you can try out standard notes. EDS Lite for VeraCrypt EDS Lite helps you encrypt and decrypt file containers in open source formats such as VeraCrypt. Use it to keep your personal files safe on USB drives whilst keeping them accessible cross-platform, from Windows to Linux to macOS. One of the great things about using open source software is its cross-platform support. EdgeJoid USB Writer EdgeJoid helps you make bootable USB drives when your laptop is inaccessible. No routing required. It supports raw disk images and most GNU Linux distribution ISOs with beta support for Apple DMG images. It is simple to use and we find it to be as fast as using a laptop to write the images. Next, we will move on to internet apps. Bromite. Bromite is a browser with ad blocking and enhanced privacy, forked from Chromium. You need to add its repository to F-Droid or download it from its website. We use it in always incognito mode, so no history is saved and cookies are deleted after app exit. Tor browser. When you search over Tor, it directs your traffic through a free worldwide volunteer relay network consisting of three layers of encryption, making your identity untraceably lost in all the layers of the onion, so to speak. The Tor browser makes use of that network, and it also aims to prevent browser fingerprinting. It is the most anonymous way to surf the internet, if you use it right. You can protect yourself from tracking, surveillance, and censorship. To install it, enable Guardian Project's repository in the f app. Element Element is a secure, end-to-end -end encrypted chat app. It is a part of the decentralized matrix network. Besides chat messages, you can also send voice messages, do group chats, video calls, without compromising your privacy. You can choose which public server hosts your data, or host your own service to have complete control. It is available everywhere from Android to web to iOS to GNU Linux. Another option is Signal. However, Signal is centralized, meaning you're placing your trust onto a single entity, which is ultimately less secure. Simple Login Simple Login lets you create email aliases to compartmentalize emails you receive. You can create separate aliases for online shopping, newsletters, and others. All emails received are then forwarded to your main email address, so when a company has a personal data leak, your actual email address is unaffected. You can also send emails from aliases. When no longer needed, email aliases can be deactivated and deleted with ease. Lastly, we will cover multimedia apps. ImagePipe ImagePipe can remove metadata from your images, which may otherwise reveal information such as what camera you used and your location. At the same time, ImagePipe can also help to significantly reduce image size whilst retaining image quality. You can select multiple images in the Files app and click Share to ImagePipe to process them in bulk. The original image files are kept if you are unhappy with the outcome of the piping. Music Player Go Music Player Go has a nice and simple user interface with dark mode support. It automatically detects your music files and displays them sorted by artist, album, folder, and other categories. It is our go-to music player. Neopipe. Neopipe is our favorite YouTube replacement. 
It extracts information from YouTube and builds a library of its videos without using any Google services. You get to watch the same videos but skipping the ads and tracking. It also allows you to download videos, audio tracks, and subtitles. You can subscribe to channels, listen to music in the background, and more. All without logging into your Google account. Simple Gallery Pro Simple Gallery Pro is a free offline app that helps you manage your photos and videos. It has many useful features such as the recycling bin and some basic photo editing functions such as resize, rotate, and flip. We mainly like it for its customizable user interface that allows you to display all media on your phone the way you want. Pocket Paint Pocket Paint is a graphical paint and image editor app. It is what we use to make our video thumbnails. You can set canvas size, make picture backgrounds transparent, insert text and images, add layers, and more. It has a very clean user interface, making it great for doing some simple image editing on phone screens. LibreTorrent LibreTorrent is a BitTorrent client that allows you to download files such as GNU Linux distributions in a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer manner. It has a nice dark mode with many configurable settings. So these were some of our favorite fast apps on Android. We hope you learned about some useful alternatives to the proprietary apps you may have. We wish you well on your journey in reclaiming your privacy and freedom. Let us know what your favorite fast apps are. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye.